All right, so in the last example, we calculated a z-score for a mean of 115, not a mean, for an IQ score of 115, an individual score, when the mean is 100 and the standard deviation of the population is 15. And we found that the percentage of scores that we would expect to be 115 or above in a normal distribution is 15.87%. Now let's take a second raw score. Say somebody, what's the probability of somebody getting a score of 90 on the um, IQ test? Calculate a second z-score. 90 minus 100 divided by 15 is negative 0.67, negative 2 thirds. And using Appendix A, we can see that the area beyond a z-score of 0.67 is 0.2514. So 25.14% of the population would be expected to get uh, scores of 90 or below on the IQ test. Even though it's a negative number, because the normal distribution is symmetrical, we can look up the positive number in um, Appendix A. Now suppose we've got a question that says something like, what percentage of the population would you expect to have scores between 90 and 115? And the way that we do that is, first of all, remember that the entire distribution equals 1.0. 100% of the distribution is represented here. 25.14% of the distribution falls below a score of 90. 15.87% falls above a score of 115. So if we add these two areas together, What we get is 41.01% of the distribution, these two combined. So what's this proportion right here, or what's this percentage between these two scores? Just subtract that from the overall, and you'll get your answer. This area between a score of 90 and 115 would be 58.99%. So we expect 58.99% of this population to have scores between 90 and 115 on the IQ test. And that's how you find the area between two scores.